The driving force behind civil rights, the ADA, and the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act is the same thing. Treat others as you would want to be treated. It's a medical civil rights issue. When you think about the people who are suffering from substance use disorders or a mental illness, or those who have an intellectual disability who act out in a way that we find fearful or scary, we ascribe those as character flaws, not as chemistry issues. We marginalize those people, even though what they're suffering from is a medical disease. The Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act was critical to framing issues of disease and disability that occur with the brain in the same way that we frame all other issues of illness and disability of any other part of the body. It changes the whole paradigm. And this 25th anniversary of the Americans with Disability Act gives us a chance to reframe our disability rights movement to include all people who have disabilities, not just the ones we can see, but also the ones that we can't see.